Hey, look, every day we wake up is a great day. But today is better than a great day because it is my mom's birthday. Now, the crazy thing is, today's my mom's birthday, and then tomorrow is my birthday. Our birthdays are back to back, just like Jordan in 96 and 97. Shh, that was a good one. I'm back with another NBA 2K22 My Career episode. Listen, as soon as this video goes up, I'm gonna just drop everything, hop off my phone, hop off the internet, and spend as much time as I can with my mom. I hope you guys are all doing well today. We are actually gonna be closing out our regular season here in our second year of our 2K My Career. Now, as you guys see, it is April 7th. We got a game coming up against the Charlotte Hornets. In total, we have like six games remaining, and we are number one in the Eastern Conference. I think it's safe to say that we are gonna close out this season number one. Second is the Cleveland Cavaliers. That's crazy to me because, as you guys know, Cleveland was the team that drafted us. We played with them in our first season, so it's good to see them doing well here. I did switch things up with our starting lineup. I took Boban out. I'm starting Robert Covington at the four. We still got Robert Williams at the five. I played Jay. Jalen Brown at the three and Jason Tatum at the two. I know like that kind of doesn't make sense, but I have like specific plays that I want to run with Jason Tatum and I needed him at the two spot to run those plays. If you guys forgot, we are 99 overall with six games remaining. I am leading the league in points per game. Now my goal is to win the MVP. I think it is safe to say Especially with our record at the moment. I think it's safe to say that I'm going to be winning the league MVP. If I don't, I'm still the league MVP in my eyes. Because look at our record. I know Luka is second. But Luka's team isn't even going to make it to the playoffs. They're out of the picture. We're not going to know who won what award until the end of the playoffs. But like I said, man, in my eyes, I won it. I won it. Now, the Charlotte Hornets are out of the playoff picture as well, but let's still see how they did on the season. So, other than LaMelo Ball, this dude had no help whatsoever. I'm kind of shocked. Like, whoa, Kevin Love is there? I'm kind of shocked I don't see Miles Bridges' name. There he is. He only averaged 10 points a game. Whatever happened to... 27 days and 27 nights 27 days 27 nights so they got kevin love from the Cavs and they traded gordon hayward to them and mason plumley now there's seven plumleys and one of them ended up in cleveland and of course you guys know they have zach levine and james harden there as well but these guys got way more stacked since I left them, that's crazy. Before we kick off today's episode, if you guys are enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like. If you are new on my channel, make sure you subscribe, hit the bell, and you will get alerted anytime I upload a new video. All right, let's get it. We got six games remaining until the end of the regular season. By the end of this episode, you're going to see like the entire playoff tree as LaMelo pulls up. Yo, chill. Alright, I'm gonna pause the game really quick because I saw a comment where someone was like, Anto, show me like your entire settings. So in this video, I'm gonna do that. First, I'll show you guys like my camera settings. I use 2K low, and then you guys could like look at the rest of like the whatever the settings that I have. Now when we go back to the main menu, I'll show you guys like my coach is setting, my controller setting, all that good stuff. Oh, a bounce pass, alley you. I had to go into the instant replay and look at Kevin Love in his uniform. That's crazy. Wait, I, I just realized they're not even starting Miles Bridges. He looks days. salty on the bench. Days. LaMelo Ball has been money so far in his game there you go tatum i gotta play better defense i can't even lie yo yo did you did i just did you see did you see that fam i think like he potted me on that last play and he just stripped me yo that's like my fourth turnover he keeps stripping me we had to call a timeout yo this is not good i don't even want to look at the scoreboard I'm not losing this game. I do not want to lose this game. Come on. Make something happen. Yo. LaMelo. I think he just got like his third steal, fam. What is going on? Somebody please tell me. Hold on. 
How many does he have? Yo! Wait, 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 wait. He already shot 13 times. He's four for eight from the three. I think it's safe to say that Lamelo's possessed. And I am just trash on defense today. This is crazy, bro. It's still not over. Still not over at all. There I go. All right. We're going to come back. Trust me. Yoink. Step back. Three is money. All right, coach is subbing us out. We're only down by 15. We're going to send him to the end of the first half. And look at my squad bringing the game closer. Nice screen. Do I pull up? Nope. Got him jumping. We're not in the gym, but he's doing jumping jacks. Oh, God. That was a nice screen. Sheesh. Good screen, Robert. Oh, I didn't make it. I'm trash. All right. I'm glad I made that. Nice. That's what I'm talking about. Please make this. Please. Let's go. I like to see greens. It's crazy we're up, bro. I told you guys we we're going to make this comeback. No way he made that. Yo, the Hornets are choking, bro. What a pass by LaMelo. And what a block by Robert Williams. That was crazy. And look at that pass by your boy. Can't believe the Hornets went ice cold like this. And what an alley-oop. And just like that, I'm about to put the controller down. We came here in Charlotte and handed them a fat L. I mean, the way the game started, I thought we were gonna lose it for sure. We ended up winning this game 77 to 66. I'm not gonna lie, like, that might've been one of my worst performances. I finished this game with 17 points, four rebounds, and eight assists. Yikes, don't even look at my turnovers. Look the other way. <sighs> Listen, I'm gonna show you guys like the good and the bad. Robert Williams had 16 points and 22 rebounds. He might be the MVP, bro, not me. LaMelo Ball. Just like a season average, did his thing, and he had no help whatsoever. That's crazy. All right, well, one game down, five more to go. I told you guys I'm going to show you guys, like, all of my settings that I use. You guys already saw my camera settings during that Charlotte game. I guess the first thing I'll show you is my coach's settings. Now, a lot of you always notice, like, on top of my teammates' heads, there's always, like, communication signs, especially, like, when we do switches. And what you have to do is you want to make sure your team communication is on. The best thing you could do is like pause this video and like copy all the settings that I have. Because I'm going to like go through this very quickly. Next, I'll show you guys like my controller settings. Like I said, you could pause it and copy it. Last but not least, I'll show you guys like my regular settings. I play on Hall of Fame. Sometimes I put it on 12 minutes, sometimes on 10. But yeah, that is all of my settings. Next, I will show you guys all of my animations and whatnot. Here is like my most most updated gameplay animations and last but not least this is what my jump shot is i've showed you guys before but this is for people that are new on the channel it's time to continue our regular season we got five more games remaining let's go ahead and play them we got the atlanta hawks in town and i'm not gonna lie i struggled so bad against the hornets so i wanted to come out here and torch these dudes Look at this, step back, pop a three in Trey Young's face. Come on now. I'm out here stripping Trey Young. Pause if needed. Call him my ISO because it is time to blend up. Trey Young got him playing Twister, fam. just caught me on the wrong night like i said man i was so motivated to come out here and prove to the fans what i deserve league mvp hey man we ended up winning this game 157 to 135 that might have been the most points we scored this season it's actually crazy we put up those numbers 
Look, bro, the following night, we had a Miami Heat in town, and I'm not going to lie, their team seems a bit weak here in my second season, and we came out here and picked up another big win. We ended up winning 82 to 72. Again, I put up some respectable numbers. Look who we had in town next, fam. We had Luka Doncic and the Dallas Mavericks. Me and Luka are competing right now for the league leader in points per game. So, you know, I had to come out here and try to score more than what he scores. Man, forget about who scores more points. I just want to come out here and pick up this dub. And that's exactly what we did. We ended up winning this game 112 to 81. And I dropped 52 points. Sheesh. We have a record of 70 and 11 now with one game remaining and that's gonna be in philadelphia against the 76ers i just had like an objective pop up on the top left corner of my screen and it says head on over to the adidas building to create your own signature shoe Woo! now i know there's like an adidas store in the outlets but i didn't know there was like an adidas building where you could go and design your own shoe and it's located right here look at these beautiful people going on a morning jog bro i've never seen is it bad i've never seen this building before is it bad am i blind look at this holy how's it going hard working fella what are you here for bro this place looks insane look at like the shoe wall, bruh, the ground is shining. What kind of like hardwood did they use, fam? They even have like a front desk lady. How nice is that? All right, let's go up here and complete this objective. Great to see you both again. Yeah. Can you believe we are here already? Designing your own signature shoe. I mean, I can. But maybe that's just me. This <laughs> is crazy. I feel like we was just designing the colorways. Right? Yeah. But I said you'd get here in no time. You did say that. Yes, yeah, she did. Yup. <laughs> So knowing you like I do, MP, I'm pretty sure you've got an idea or two for us. In fact, I'm sure Ricky does too. Well, actually, both of us, we've been discussing like the silhouette of a shoe for like weeks now. Nice. What about fabrics? Don't so get me started. Like this dude got the whole apartment look like a spy movie. They got diagrams here, 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 <laughs> here. Hey, hey, perfection <laughs> doesn't come easy. And I just, I like to do my research. Okay. Well, I love it. You two must be ready to dive right into the design process. Then. Oh, yeah. He's ready. Too ready. Awesome. Let's get into it. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to create our very own Adidas's. Now, this is a silhouette that they gave me. I wish it was like something different. Like, I wish they give you like silhouettes from like an actual Adidas pair, if that makes sense. But let me go ahead and put something together and I'll show you guys the final product. And there it is. I guess these are our signature Adidas shoes. They kind of look like some Damian Lillard's. Honestly, fam, I don't know what I was doing when I made these. Like I said, the silhouettes that they gave me was not that great. So I had to do what I had to do. I had to make the best of what was given to me. Let's go ahead and save these. I'm gonna call them ADB1s. We are done creating our signature shoes. Now let's put them on. And this is what they look like on feet. It's not the greatest, but we'll take it, bruh. It is officially time to close out the regular season. Let's see what happens. I'm excited. And we're gonna be wearing the pink starburst Adidas's that we just made. Let's see how this one goes. Ben Simmons is still here. Nice shot, Tatum. I gave the ball to Tatum earlier. Now he's feeding me. Let's go. Nice screen. That's what we do out here. Let's go. Ooh, got him. Oh my, this is crazy. Yup, let's go, wide open. It's the end of the first half, the score is tied up and we got 22 points. This play is too goaded. And it was contested, I still made it. Mm. That step back was mean. 
Tatum, what a move. Let's go. We're up by five here. Ah, that's me. That's me. That was a bad uh, defensive play. Wait. What? What? What did I just... Am I, like, tripping or... Did you guys know the fans did this? Bro, the ball went to him and he tossed... Yo, I've never seen this happen. Look how proud my boy is. He's like, yeah, I did that. Oh, my. How's he still up? How's he? Bro, I got my takeover. He's still up? I got to drop him. I got to. I try to drop him. He didn't drop. Mm, they're starting to double team me. I'm scared. Oh, it does not matter. Nice screens. Nice screens. It's closeout time. We're in the fourth quarter. And I'm getting double teamed. That means somebody's wide open. Look at this. Look at this. Another green by JB. What was that? Give me that. Give me that. Dude, what just happened? With two seconds left, coach is subbing us out. Why did he just let me finish the game out? I'm so confused, but we ended up picking up a fat W. Defensively, we did our thing in this game. We held the 76ers to only 60 points. And as you guys see, the 1.6 difficulty multiplier, which means that we were playing on Hall of Fame. It's time to find out who we are going to play against in the first round of the playoffs. To close out the regular season, I averaged 35 points a game, 3 rebounds, 7 assists, close to 8, and I averaged about like 2 steals a game. Honestly, that's MVP numbers, especially with our record. To close out the regular season, all we have to do is press on the NBA logo and sim to the end of the regular season. And there you have it. This is the playoff tree, fam. And in the first round, we are playing the Indiana Pacers. Listen, let me not get ahead of myself. But it should be a sweep. We got Philly going up against the Bucks. Detroit made it. They're playing the Chicago Bulls in the first round. The Orlando Magic made it too. Cleveland is playing against them in the first round. Over on the West, you guys see Phoenix is playing Golden State. Memphis is playing against the Houston Rockets. The Clippers are playing against the Jazz. And you got the Denver Nuggets against the New Orleans Hornets. Now, I don't see LeBron James and the LA Lakers. That's crazy to me. There's a lot of fresh teams in this playoffs, and I can't wait to kick it off on the next episode. So, yes, we do play the Indiana Pacers. Let's go ahead and see who they have on their roster. Okay, Michael Brogdon, he's the highest overall. I'm guessing he's going to guard me most of the series. Karis Lavert is still here in Indiana. Damatis Sabonis here. Michael Turner. I said Michael Turner. Miles Turner. TJ McConnell. Justin Holiday. Chris Duarte. I can't lie, bruh. Might be a sweep. It might be a sweep. Yo, Andre Drummond is there? Okay, that's interesting. And they got Ilya Sova. I forgot all about his existence. Now, I need you guys to give me a starting five. What should we do for the playoffs? Because I've been, like, experimenting a lot, but... I'm going to leave it up to you guys for the playoffs. What should we do? There you guys have it. I hope you enjoyed this episode. On the next one, we're going to go ahead and kick off the NBA playoffs. I hope you guys have a great day. Thank you so much for all the love and support. I'm going to catch you guys on the next one.